welcome to Horrified of the World's Madness Marathon. To celebrate Halloween, the Horrified of the World crew has made the Madness Marathon Halloween calendar. Every day, we open a door, and behind every door is a recommendation for a free horror game that you should play. 31 days, 31 recommendations, hours of fun. And on the 31st, we have a special surprise for you. But enough talk, let's see what hides behind today's door. I love boomer shooters and the revival. They're not the types of games I play a whole lot, they're the types of games that I suddenly get a craving for like a particular good brand of crisps. And then I munch on them and I get my fix. There's something special, elegant and quite honest about just starting a game that gives you a technical about how you're the Satan Slaver calf from the devil's discarded pinky toe and that you're on a mission to fight your way to your creator and ask him the question, Father, why have you forsaken me? Ah, that was bad. <laughs> and then get thrown straight into the action and then just power through short level after short level, hunting down keys, blasting bad guys into giblets, and finding secret things and also the exit. It's great, I love it, and I love Shrine, because it's one of those and it's completely free. I have no idea what the story of this game is other than you are a red thing and that you're pissed and that you're taking it out on the local population of Satanville. It's not a game that makes the greatest first impression because the first gun you get is a puny pistol and it doesn't feel very good to fire and the first enemy you're facing is some kind of a weird naked guy that's jerking his penis every once in a while to shoot you and it's hard to decipher when it's gonna fire and if it's even gonna fire at all. But then the puny pistol is quickly replaced with a slightly better shotgun and then the game gradually introduces more and more enemies and then more and more guns and before you know it an hour has passed and you realize that this free game is not over yet and you realize that you don't care because you are just having mindless fun. The slightly okay shotgun is replaced with a proper boomstick that rips in tears and a whole lot of other doom like weapons like the gatling gun and some bouncy ball gun and laser gun starts appearing in levels and it's great. The enemies have fun patterns and it's always interesting entering a new room and then running around in circles around the enemies trying to take out the weakest guys first so that you can focus on the big bad guy. It's almost a shame that it's free, it's almost as good as something like Hedden or Vomitorium and it could totally cost money and people would totally buy it and I hope the creator releases more acts or a director's cut with a sick soundtrack for money because that's maybe what this needs. Music. It doesn't have music and there is a beauty to that, but I wouldn't mind some sick metal tunes blasting into my headphones while I rip and fucking chat through weirdly vaguely sexual monsters that inhabit Shrine's cursed realms. If you like boomer shooters, this one is for you, and it's on Steam where you already get your boomer shooters, and uh, I give it an 11 out of 13. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you've enjoyed the game in the video. Remember to go visit Horrified of the World tomorrow and every day after for the remainder of October. You know, to see what other great free games are out there. From all of us here at Horrified of the World, stay extra spooky during this month and uh, take care.